what causes harmonics? At the top, we have a time waveform. At the bottom, the graph is called the spectrum. And this is changing the frequency of that vibration. And you can see you get a single peak in the spectrum. Now I'm going to distort the top time waveform by clipping it. And you can see it's gotten flatter. And now in the spectrum, what I see are harmonics or multiples of the base frequency. The frequency is 8 hertz, and we see harmonics at 16, 24, and 32. What causes sidebands? So at the top we have a sine wave, and at the bottom we have a single peak. Now I'm modulating the amplitude of that peak, which means I'm making it get repetitively louder and softer. That creates sidebands in the spectrum. Now I'm increasing the frequency of modulation, and you see the sidebands move further away. There's the amplitude of the modulation going up and down. And then this is the amplitude of the peak being modulated going up and down. Now, what if we had both effects together? So now we have amplitude modulation, and I'm starting to clip the frequency being modulated. And now you see harmonics of that frequency showing up in the spectrum. And those harmonics have sidebands. And this is something you would commonly see in a gearbox or a rolling element bearing. That's changing the amplitude of the frequency being modulated. You see the center peaks going up. And then this is changing the amplitude of the modulating frequency. So you see the sideband amplitudes going up and down. That was a super, super brief introduction to harmonics and sidebands and the combination of the two. If you want to learn more, why don't you come to one of my courses? Um, I have live online courses. You can join from anywhere in the world. Courses in Miami at Ludeca, in Houston at Envibe, in New York at CTC. I'm also available for private courses, either online or on site. Check out my website at zencovibrations.com or email me at zencovibe at gmail.com.